What's up, guys? Welcome back to Everyday Faith. Happy Tuesday to you. Today is election day, uh, and I'm sure many of you have already voted. I voted about a month ago. Um, uh, if you haven't, uh, if you're a citizen, if you have the right to vote, then please use your right. It's an important responsibility and freedom that we have that we shouldn't take for granted. Uh, and that's about as political as I'll get. I just want to encourage you to vote and remind you if you haven't done that, uh, to take advantage of that um, freedom and that responsibility today. Uh, and we have a scripture today from Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. It says this, He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and, for, and forgave our sins. Let me read that again because I kind of fumbled over my words. Ephesians 1, 7, He is so rich in kindness and grace that he purchased our freedom with the blood of his son and forgave our sins. Here's the devotional. It says this, Have you ever been told that you are forgiven, yet the person's actions made you feel like you weren't really forgiven? Maybe it was your boss's disappointment following a poor performance at work. Maybe it was your mother or father who seemed to always hold your shortcomings against you. Or maybe it was your spouse who always brings up that, quote, one time something happened. No matter the circumstance, few things feel as demoralizing as having to carry the weight of unforgiveness. Fortunately for us, no such thing exists when it comes to God's forgiveness. When God forgives, there is no doubt or suspicion of its validity. He proved his love and forgiveness when he sent his own son to die on the cross and shed his blood for the forgiveness of our sins. If you ever wonder, doubt, or question God's forgiveness, then it's no simpler than looking to Jesus on the cross and reminding yourself that your sins, all of them, have been forgiven and there's no taking it back. Man, this is such an encouraging devotional. This is such a powerful reminder. I love this because the truth is we've all experienced that, right? Maybe we've been the ones who have withheld forgiveness. So, all right, I forgive you. But then we're still upset. We're still bitter. We're still a little like salty or sour about the experience. And it's even worse when you're on the receiving end. You know, when someone says they've forgiven you, yet you feel like, okay, I don't know. You say I'm forgiven, but it seems like you're still upset. It seems like you're still kind of uh, a little disappointed or mad or holding something against me. Um, and yet with God, we don't have that. No such thing exists. And, and the proof is in the pudding, as the old commercial used to say. You look to Jesus on the cross, and that's our reminder that we are completely forgiven, that God is not taking it back, that he's not going to withhold his forgiveness because he didn't even withhold his own son from us. I love what Pastor Andy Stanley says. He says, if someone died for you, you don't have to question whether they love you. You know, if someone took their, like if you were in the line of fire and a bullet was coming your way and your friend jumped in front of that bullet and ended up losing their life um, instead of you losing your life, you wouldn't live the rest of your life saying, man, I wonder if they love me. I wonder if they really cared about me. You know, I, I just don't know. I know they died for me, but I, no, you, of course you wouldn't do that. You'd say, no, I know they love me. They proved it by laying their life on the line. And that's exactly what God did with his own son. He laid his, life, his son's life on the line for us to show us that we're fully forgiven, to show us that we're fully loved. And you and I can walk in that freedom today. So I hope you feel encouraged. I hope you feel supported. And I hope you feel empowered to live and walk in that freedom for the rest of your life.